to the observers? Uh, if the sidewalk's like five yards away, then they would have been like seven yards away from runner. And uh, we are they, getting, were, they were very, very close. We are getting more information coming in right now. One of our reporters just spoke to, to a trauma nurse at Massachusetts General Hospital who says they were working at the race's medical tent. They set up a morgue area at the back of the tent and reports of people coming in with severed limbs, children with severe burns, and according to this one report, although we haven't had any official reports yet, many casualties, uh, the, uh, so far the Mass General is confirming only that they've received uh, two casualties uh, right now, but that is the first report like that that we have seen from a nurse who was on the scene working the race's medical tent, uh, some very severe uh, injuries and many, many, uh, many, many injuries and perhaps worse. It is just a tragedy and crushing to hear about these injuries. I, I want to thank you so, uh, very much, Hayden, and I want to turn now to another eyewitness, Danielle Schneider, who is joining us right now, if you're on the phone. Not yet, not yet. Uh, so, Hayden, are you still there? Can I go back for a second? Yes, ma'am, I am. Give us a sense of the density, the crush of people. How, how many people were gathered around you? Uh, pretty close to the lines, there's, there's probably like five or six people standing in like two square yards. Like everyone's really, really crushed together. Um, it, it, was, it was pretty packed in. And how soon? You had to really push your way through. How soon did, did the help get there? How soon did the emergency medical teams arrive? Uh, I would say about five, ten minutes. Uh, it, it took a while for the ambulances and stuff to get in. But, uh, I saw several police officers sprinting toward the scene uh, right after it happened. Sprinting toward the scene as they do. Hayden, by any chance, did you see anyone sprinting away from the scene? Anything like that at all? Yeah, there was, a, there was a big crowd of people that were telling us to just keep running and run as far away as we could. Execution of Assistant District Attorney Mark now I believe we have Danielle Schneider on the phone, and if you can hear me, Ms. Schneider? Yes, this is Danielle. Tell me where you were. Were you running? Were you an observer? And what did you see? Um, I'm a runner. I finished probably about 15 minutes before. I had just got into Stephanie's on Newberry. We were about to sit down to eat, and all of a sudden we heard a huge explosion go off. We all just kind of dropped to the ground. Um, and then we like were in a panic mode, like, we, we knew it was like a bomb or a, we had no idea. We was kind of were in a panic mode. And then um, all of a sudden we heard the second bomb go off. And then we just kind of all like went into the corner of the restaurant. We saw people running everywhere. Um, we waited a few minutes. And because I live in the city, I knew we had to get out of the area because we were so close to the finish line. Um, and as we were running away towards the river, away from the, the epicenter, we saw people down on the ground. My boyfriend saw somebody with a limb off, like, cut into like their legs. It was very gruesome. And did, um, did you see people rushing to help them? Yes, I mean, I've never seen it. I've run marathons. This is my 18th and I've never seen anything like this where it was a triage, like ambulances that, I mean, I live in the city. This was like the scariest thing I've ever experienced. Um, ambulances, undercover cops, cops telling you to get out of the area, the restaurant, people like the People working at the restaurant telling us to get away from the scene, get as far away. People were um, walking over the Mass Ave Bridge like it was an exodus to Cambridge. We know this must have been harrowing for you and everyone around you, and we are looking at the pictures of those who are leaving the scene and can only imagine the heartbreak in all directions for the people there. I mean, I live in the city, and it's just, my heart is like dropped right now. Like, I know people, I know a hundred, like tons of people running. I have friends in the area who are concerned because I was so close, like, I mean, I see the other foreign countries where there are people are afraid bombs go off, and I live in the city, and it's just the worst feeling after running the marathon and being so excited with my time and just hearing those bombs, and my heart just dropped. We are getting more reports from law enforcement officials and other sources on the scene. They look first blast at the Marathon Sports running store. It was not clear whether it was inside or outside the store, but it blew out windows in about four buildings in the area. 15 to 20 people injured, according to these. Uh, sources and they are uh, reiterating what we've just heard from Danielle and other witnesses several seriously injured severed body parts and they also note that air quality um, officials have been brought into the area to test to make sure that this was not a chemical attack 
But again, it's not clear if it was inside that or store, outside the store or outside that store. Uh, and as we said earlier, they're also checking every garbage can, every manhole right now to make sure there's nothing else out there. Uh, Danielle, all the people you were with and all the people you know who were running are okay. I just want to make sure. As of now, everybody I know is okay. I mean, I know people that work at Marathon Sports. I ran with a group of people last week. Like, um, I just hope everybody, I know people working in the medical tent. I just hope everybody's okay. Friends from afar are calling me as, I, as I'm on the phone with you guys, just making sure that I'm okay. It's just a very scary situation in the city right now. It is, and thank you for helping us out. Thank you so much for phoning in to us, and we'll be checking. I just hope everybody's okay.